Mexico people. Happy Saturday, even so, though today is Thursday for us. So would you say we're right on track? No. We're not oh, right no. Track. No. <laughs> Okay, we're making progress. So today, we're finally, finally, finally building a roof rack. A deck. A deck. A, f oh. <laughs> a potty deck. <laughs> so... I gotta go to the stove. Jordan's gonna go to the stove, he's gotta go get some metal. And it's gonna be me and Lobos. If you guys want a little update on how she's doing, we went to the vet yesterday. Come here, baby. <laughs> we went to the vet yesterday and we ended up having to pick up antibiotics $170 later. They want her to go on a 30 day round this time. Um, her bump is a lot smaller but it's still filling up and leaking out every like couple hours or so. So now it's smoothie bowl time. You know I've really been grinding hard on this bus. Basically, 9 a.m. every day until about 8 p.m. every night. And the funny thing is, I love doing it. I think doing stuff like this and ripping a whole bus apart and rebuilding it is fun. And I'm having a really good time. But I can tell that Kaylee, she's not all too eager to do some work. And it might seem like it's kind of frustrating, but in all honesty, I'm totally cool with that because living in a vehicle for a year now, takes a little toll on you. And when you have a chance to live in a house, you really appreciate having a shower, having space, having a bathroom, having a full kitchen. Having all the comforts of home again is something that she's loved and she's really been taking advantage of it for sure. Time to take Lola for a walk. Time to make some coffee. Time to do some yoga. Time to do some laundry. Well, it sounds like the boys finally made it back. So we're gonna go check out and see what kind of goods they got from the stove. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. How's your morning, man? Good. We have to wait for him to cut all the metal. But we got metal for a roof rack. Oh, but you, so you're waiting for the, the store to cut it for you? Yep. Oh, so it's all still there? It's all still there. Gotcha, gotcha. Our roof rack only costs $100. $100? $100. $100. Should we show some uh, construction shots? Uh, that's what, I know that's what you want to do. <laughs> do you guys want to see some construction? 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 I think we do. <laughs> Let's go for it. Watch, watch me screw in the solar panel. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> what do you think, world? Is it raining? Yep, it is definitely raining. You have anything to say to the fans? Uh, I would like some uh, cherry bomb licorice and I uh, want a new world ball. Uh, this one is torn up and I'm biting it right now because it tastes so terrible. Lola, Lola, that is inappropriate. <laughs> Lola. Something we realized about a month into living in our bus is our extractor fan, this one, is just a regular fan. Not an extractor fan, it just blows air in and it doesn't go out. And those are the things that happen when you have no idea what you're doing, when you're doing a conversion and don't do the proper research. So we're gonna be swapping out that tiny little fan with this bad boy. It is a huge step up, both because it blows air in and out, you can choose, it has like rain sensors on it, it has all this stuff on it, it's remote controlled. I hear Kaylee coming down with some food. What you got for me? Some pesto pasta, quinoa pasta with a little bit of avocado, avocado oil, and some spice. You're the best, Aaron. Five hours later, we finished the maxi fan. <laughs> and now, what are, we, what are we doing over there, boys? We're building a roof rack. We're building a roof rack. Dude, we've been talking about your yoga deck for how long? 
Since we got the bus. Slash garden, slash propane holding tank so we don't have a bomb underneath our sink. Yeah. So now we're putting a little roof up here. <clears throat> it's gonna be small. It's just gonna be from over here to the back, but it's just gonna be exactly what we need. How are we gonna get the exact measurements of the length? I'm more worried about the width, to be honest. Or either way, we need because like these are these were really rough measurements, right? And then the other thing is the void the boards are gonna sit in here, so these are gonna have to go underneath, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I just don't know how to get the dimensions perfect, unless we just took. Well, I guess we could. We could take. You could hold one on one side. Kaylee could hold one on the other side, and you just take a measuring tape and we just measure right across. Sparks are about to start flying. Mix a uh, four beers deep. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Two. We're gonna start welding some stuff, and it's gonna be some uh, sparks flying in this garage. <laughs> so we hit all the gas cans. Hopefully, we end up with a roof rack when this is all said and done. Cross our fingers. Let's go. Solid. She passed to the Nick Stark School. Yeah, the of technical college of welding. Of Emporium. <laughs> wow, it looks so bright. <laughs> well, it's a pretty productive day. You want to see I our rack? See. Check out this rack. Doesn't really look like much yet, but just wait. Tomorrow, we'll be finishing it up, hopefully. The one thing, you see when I stand on it, you see how it gives a little bend? Yeah. We gotta reinforce it a little bit. Okay. We're gonna put some of that. Nuts and bolts. Yeah, the nuts and the bolts. And then we're gonna add some deck paneling on it to make it two legit quit. And we're gonna be be doing some uh, some yoga retreats up there. So stay tuned for that. So today marks one week of doing renovations on the bus. Mm -hmm. As we told you, we had one week to do these renovations. Yes. And if you see what the inside of the bus looks like, we are nowhere close. Oh, by the way, we tried to just use that fan and it's shorting out. So, got to figure that one out. So, what are we going to do? We're going to just sleep and we're going to leave and just pile everything in and sleep inside. Yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> so, Nick was nice enough to let us stay a little bit longer and get this thing done. Yeah. So, the, this family that we're staying with they have gone above and beyond to make us feel comfortable and to provide us with this luxury of staying in a home and having a garage to do all this renovation stuff with. And, and we can't thank them enough because it's been the absolute perfect situation. It's been amazing. Yeah. And Lola's having an absolute blast. <laughs> she is. <laughs> but we're white. It's, what time is it right now? Almost 1.30. All right, it's past one o'clock. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. And we'll see you guys when we see you. We'll see you when you see you. Within the next few days or so. Bye. Adios.